Welcome to the Popo Station. The Detroit Police. Now, I have been through this before. I made it past those doors and boom, crashy crash. So I know this little area. I know what to expect. I gotta talk to that guy to let us in. Gotta talk to this guy to find out information about Megan's case. And then boom. These offices are off limits to civilians, sir. Don't go in there. Okay. Got it. So let's 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 talk to Chad. Yeah. What do you want? Information. Then go bother the receptionist, Chrome Boy, instead of wasting my goddamn time. Not that kind of information. I want to know about the Seraph Industries case. Ha <laughs> ha! And I want a blowjob in a vintage 05 bar GT, so I guess we both keep on dreaming. <laughs> huh? Metalhead? Chrome Boy! I know you handled the critical evidence linked to the case, and I want to know about it. First off, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. And second, even if I did, what makes you think I give a shit about what you want? Now, I strongly suggest you take your high-tech toaster-looking ass out of my way before I handle you. Okay, so we're gonna need to find something on his computer, I think, to blackmail him. That's what we were told earlier. I probably could use my pheromones maybe to just skip that part, but I plan on checking everyone's computer anyways. Yeah, yeah, hang on just a sec. Shit. Jensen? Ross. Surprised to see you here. Yeah, well, I guess you're better at looking out for yourself than I am. I don't have time for your self-pity. I need to get into the morgue. That's it? Oh, forget it. I don't know what's going on with that body down there, but my orders come from the brass. No one gets in. First thing you say to me after almost two years is you want something? Should I have given you an order? You've always been very good at following those. Ooh, <laughs> sick burn. God damn. Where do you get off being so self-righteous? You think I like this? Look at me. From SWAT team commander to a crummy desk sergeant in the Tubit precinct. I don't need this from you. I get enough of it at home. So either come up with something better than your usual attitude, or you can just forget it, because you came to me. Now, I have a question for you guys. I'm not sure why I have all this extra stuff now. Usually I just have the personality type. But I've got this persuasion thing, the traits and psychological profile. I like this, but I'm not sure why I have this. So maybe you can fill me in on that. But I'll follow the same path that I did before. Because it worked. <laughs> okay, look, you're angry and you've got a right to be. I'm putting you in a bad position, but I have to get inside that morgue. I won't let it get back to you. I'm always in a bad position. This isn't fair. Why are you doing this? Putting me between a rock and a hard place again. You want me to sacrifice my job to save your boss's ass? And if I lose my job, my life goes into the toilet. But you don't even care about that, do you? Uh, truthfully, I don't think I do care, no. My persuasion level went up, so that's a bonus. I'll protect you, baby. Yes, your job is at risk. Yes, you've taken the blame for what happened in the past, but look, I need your help. And it's important. You got my word, whatever happens, I'll take care of you. Well, that might be a start. Everything goes back to that day. I shot a kid, but he was dead before I did that. He chose to make himself a weapon, and he could have gone through us like tissue paper with those augments of his. That's why you ran off. You just couldn't take that. Okay, now, last time, he got really pissed at me for doing that same exact thing, and my persuasion level went down, so... There must be some randomness to it, which is pretty interesting. And... Pheromones, and then pressure is what I did last time. Wayne, are you getting careless? That empty pill bottle in the trash over there. Didn't you know antipsychotics are included in the Force's zero-tolerance drug policy? <laughs> Uh, I only need them until I get things sorted out. Y you can't do this. It's not right to use them against me. They'll fire me if they find out. I'll lose my pension, everything. But you would, wouldn't you? Big time. Fine, you're cleared. Thank you. I'll tell the guys to let you through. But I'll never forget this. Uh-oh. That's a promise. <laughs> I wonder if I run into him at some point down the road. Probably. Uh, I'm gonna quick save here because last time I opened these doors, little crashy poo central here. Good success. Can I check in these? Oh, I lift these ones. All right, cool. Don't know. 
Okay, men's bathroom, obviously. Oh my god, there's stuff in here. I knew it. I think that's the first time I found something in a bathroom. Of course, it's the police station. Hey, Melanie, they've had to reset your keypad again. Hard lock. We're going to have to get a change. This is getting ridiculous. I've used the usual reset code 1856. That's from Wayne to Melanie, and she says, thanks, sweetie. Okay. Got a little love interest there, Mr. Haas. Should I tell her that you're fucking bipolar? And where does this take me? Whoa, we're like all over the place here. Morg is down. Cannot Technologies? Cannot. Oh man, you're kidding me. They're finally gonna arm us with the peps. That's right, my friend. The pulsed energy projection system. Single shot, non-lethal. Firing a concussive blast so strong it'll knock down an elephant. Those gangers won't even know what hit them. About time. CPD's been using those for a year already. And we got worse problems than them. Well, how do I get my hands on one of those? Because that sounds pretty great. A couple of witnesses told me they saw you throwing Molotov Stun gun darts, I'll take those. Nah, man. Now there's people all around here. I don't know if I could hack their computers or not. I guess. So, I'm gonna go... I don't really have a lot of options to get there. I could go th I kind of want to get this clearance one. Oh crap! I didn't want- I wanted to get the data store. Granted. <laughs> okay, well we're in. Apparently I can hack in front of people. Basement hub. Hey, for the next shift they chained the basement cub- Basement cam hubs login for the new guy, M Post and Blues. They weren't able to change the code for the laser grid though. Holy shit. That's gonna that's gonna be a hassle. To Robin Decker, come on man, you gotta let me borrow it. You owe me a favor. Yours is more of a you already own what is going on here? Okay, let's start from the beginning of this tale. Hey man, this is not easy to ask, and I know you're probably going to say no, but I'd really appreciate it if you could let me borrow your Prius Coupe for the weekend. I'm taking Anna to the country. You already have a car. Yeah, but it's lame. You're more of a pleasure model if you catch my drift. Sorry. Come on, man. You gotta let me borrow it. You owe me a favor. Morgus on lockdown. John Doe and the Morgus classified as ultraviolet under RHS 2012. Don't know what that means. You all know the drill. Everyone with blue clearance or lower stay out of the basement. You'll be told when it's okay to move freely again. Okay. So I can hack computers in front of people, I guess. Is there something I can help you with, sir? Well, not really, because you're broke. You're saying your neighbor knows something about these disappearances. Yeah, one of the boys who went missing lived in my building. I used to argue a lot with my neighbor Casey. What did they argue about? Okay. Far enough. Whoa, okay. Away. Okay. Who's talking to me? This guy? So... Okay. Did I just hack this because nobody was standing around me, or...? I'm not sure how that works exactly. Do I have to kill every damn police officer in here so I can check their desks? Apparently I can steal stuff in front of them, but... God forbid I want to frickin' Google something, it's all over. Look at how much money these people have in their desks! It's like the richest police of all time. Alright, let's go back to this... Ooh. Hey, boys. Hello? You're Jensen, right? One of my buddies told me you were SWAT once upon a time. Make eye contact with me when you talk to me. Heard you had some... disagreement with the brass. It's the long and short of it, yep. Your shotgun. Hello, Kenneth. Your shotgun's been sent back from Ballistics Lab. As expected, tests absolve you of any doubt regarding the incident last week. The weapon hasn't been used in the last 17 months, a date that matches with the station shooting range log. You're off the hook. You can pick it up whenever you have the time. Code to my office is 2231. 
Okay, so there's a shotgun in an All office somewhere. All the media somewhere. speculation surrounding that hostage situation in Detroit has just blown through the roof. Thanks to the arrival of William Taggart, celebrity author and founder of the anti-augmentation organization, Humanity Front. Speaking from the tarmac at Wayne County Airport, Taggart called the attacks... An extremely regrettable affair. I I'd very much like to meet with David Seraph in person to offer my deepest sympathies and assure him that these attacks are in no way linked to Humanity Front. My people have worked tirelessly to find a peaceful solution to this dispute, and I unequivocally deplore the methods used by these hostage takers. Now, that being said, I do hope the UN takes a concentrated look at what happened here tonight. Mr. Taggart he kind of sounds like he might be full of some bullshit. Oops. Your desire to stand in front of the General Assembly. So, I'm not sure what to think about that guy. Now, I also don't know the big difference between Humanity First and Purity First. The Purity First guys attacked Seraph. Humanity First is maybe- ooh, more doors. It's maybe more of a- an organized- like a real organization or something. Okay, now can I hack here without somebody seeing me? I think I'm pretty much in the clear. I know I had the code, but- I like to get the XP if I can. Let's see if I get this one. Nope, it's go time. Oh man, I'm feeling pretty good. Uh, Access granted. Boom, shakalaka. Okay. Oh, sick! What? What? I can't even get the ammo? I'm full of ammo. Stun gun darts, tranquilizer darts. I don't even have a stun gun. So let me drop these. Well, mind you, I don't really need machine pistol ammo either. I would like to get the gun to sell it though. Might be worth in upgrading my inventory at some point. They've sent us Nicefield from Ormstown Division. Kid's got friends in high places. They want him safe inside until he's got enough time for a promotion. He's gonna be the one in charge of the armory. Please give him the details. Here's the login info. So there's an armory. We're gonna have to check that out, but I don't think I'll be able to carry anything. Look at more money on their desks. They've never heard of banks here. It's bizarre. All right, let's, let's hack all the things. Oh, this one's a little nutty. Let's see if we can get away with a freebie. Nope, not even close. Oh, we're gonna, this is gonna be trouble. I may have to pull a stop somewhere at some point. Come on. Yep, it has to happen. Look at that thing. It's taking forever. Access oh, denied. shit. This is not good. I'm gonna have to knock out a police officer, I think. They're coming at me. Man down. Doo -doo -doo. Oh shit, this is not what I intended. <laughs> How long will they be like on alert for? Come on, everybody, just go away. Nothing to see here. I'm gonna try to hack again in this high pressure situation. <laughs> oh no! <Come> oh! <laughs> Hands where I can see it. They're just going nutty at me for hacking a computer. Sleep. 
Oh, shit. Time to eat candy bars. That's it. Hold it. Oh, it's in the face. in here. That was terrible. Okay, so hacking is, has some freaking consequences if they catch you. Note to self. Okay, well, let's try this again. Come on, make it. Thank you. I'll take another freebie if possible. Nice. Zero percent here, so that's free. Makes getting up there a bit more tough, but that's 90 percent. We'll go for another 50 here. Let's start defending as well. Come on. Come on, let's go. I want to see if I can get that one and then I'll use a nuke on this. Access granted. Boom, okay. That was awesome. Oh, sick. And we're almost at another Praxis kit. Okay, from Captain Ryan Penn, who we need to check out as well. I'll not be in the building for the next three days. In the event of an emergency, you gain access to my office, 2419. A maintenance team is scheduled to come in and fix hiccups in the ventilation system. You'll have to turn off the security grid. 7668. Gang report to all officers. d row ballers are packing more firepower lately. All of this still needs to be confirmed officially. No official clashes with the Motor City Bangers recently, but the derelict row ballers have been attacking augmented civilians more than usual. It's my current assumption that we're on the verge of a gang war. Awesome. Morgue locked down again. Okay. Well, that's much better than being shot in the face numerous times, so I'm okay with that. Now, if I hack in here, what's in here? It's just that guy. And then I won't be able to hack that computer. So, let's leave that for now. Or maybe let's just hack it, get the experience, and then let's just see what happens. Okay, it's go time. Nice. Back up or else. Oh, are you kidding me? So if they see you, like it's over. Okay. Well, you know what? I I don't have time for that then. Morgue. The this way. Armory that tiger. way. <laughs> Let's go for it. Armory that way. From the tarmac at Wayne County Jensen, Airport, what the hell are you doing here? The station's and supposed to be off limits to all non-essentials. You don't even fucking work here anymore. Like wow. Meet with David in person, Why is everyone so pissed? My sympathies and, uh, Alarm panel? I wonder if he'll see me here. Oh, I need level three. Looks like nobody could see me. Okay, we're going level three hacking. I've almost got enough for another Praxis anyways, so... Three attempts. So I need to go here. I'm gonna go here, here, here. And those two. Let's see if I can get a freebie in there. Nice. Oh, I can't. Yeah, right. Okay. I'm just gonna start going here. Come on. Uh oh. Oh my god. I had to do it. Access granted. Oh, I got another one anyway, so that's okay. Inactive. I don't even know what that does. But it could potentially help me, so I'm doing it. Now, should I be knocking out these guards so I can just... F hack all the things I want freely? I think so. And what about this? I'm okay, right? Yes, good. Because I think you can sneak around in here if, if you don't happen to make it in. 
But then, you're... Like, if anybody sees you, they're gonna freak out. So at least I have some freedom. What the hell? Go! Access granted. Oh shit, where are we going here? I'm trying to remind people Oh, reels? The way they can get in touch with me is by online interactive streaming. We'll stream you I'm not even sure where this takes me. Interesting. This is just another way in here, I guess. <laughs> That's bizarre. I'm not sure why I want to do this. But I guess I'm getting, uh, experience just by checking things out. Look at that! More Praxis kits. Now I'm all disoriented, I don't know where anything is. Jensen, what the hell are you doing here? Station's supposed to be off limits to all non-essentials. Yeah, you don't yeah, even yeah. fucking work here anymore. Don't be such a dickbag, bro. Look, there's Chet's office. We need to get in there. I'm just taking this guy down. Hopefully that I'm out of that camera's range, because that's going to be a hard one to explain. These cops are all assholes, man. Ooh. Third floor offices. Oh, that's pfft, making it a little too easy for me. Is anybody in here? I don't think so. Looks like I could get I could just walk into any of them, but I'm gonna hack and hopefully find some with data stores like this one. And I think as I increase my hacking, it makes the the lower levels even a bit easier to hack, which is which is good. I'm just rambunctious in here. Oh, look! Automatic unlocking device. I'll take it. Okay, I don't know whose computer this is. Alexander or something? Nice. New virus found. Makes me very happy. The ballers. From Munchies. <laughs> Sup, officer. I have some info you might want on your little DRB friends. I saw them stash some of the gats in a storage unit in the road. There's a top cat, DRB lieutenant. One bad motherfucker with a shotgun. He got the code to that storage on one of them pocket bitches. One other thing, if you guys plan to raid the crib, you should be careful in the in the maintenance corridor between D row and the spot near chair and building. They put some soldiers in there. Now, that's two tips. Two! So I went twice my usual CI rate. If you fuck me over on this one, you can forget my help in the future. Munchies. <laughs> what kind of badass name is Munchies? You whoring now? What? Hey Jenny, I was walking around Grand River Road last Friday and I'm pretty sure I saw you in the street corner dressed as a lady of the night. What's up with that? You dropped the badge? Hope you kept the cuffs though. <laughs> Anyways, hit me back, we'll have lunch sometime. I assume you were working undercover, if not... Oh, cool! So this chick's undercover as a prostitute. That's awesome. I wonder if I can find her. 410 credits, man. These guys just leave money everywhere. It's amazing. Now, I've got somebody in this office, so if I hack in, I gotta go takedown mode. Oh, it's already open. It's this movie from Ooh, the 1980s, about this cop. He gets all shot up, and gets rebuilt as a cyborg. Uh, is that with Van Damme? No, that's something else. <laughs> I'm surprised you never heard of it. it. Takes place in the future Detroit. I guess I'm just not into sci-fi. I don't really know a lot of sci-fi movies, but... Oh, vodka shit. What do I want that for? But I wonder if he's talking about uh, Blade Runner, which I've never seen. Nice digs. Hey, you ever heard of this 80s movie? <laughs> nope. Look at this guy. 
I think we were just talking about you, pal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, I guess, just take me into the next office. Oh, nope. Takes me outside. Okay, next. I wonder if the camera catches me hacking. I don't think so. Oh, frickin' not. Oh, not good. Come on, go! Access granted. We didn't quite get all the data stores, but uh, that's okay. Alright, we're in here. We're in Officer Wagner's. Are you kidding me? I guess it was too loud. I'll have to go back there in a second. Oh, that's so gnarly. Sleep. I'm just taking this guy down. Hopefully that, I'm out of that camera's range, because that's going to be a hard one to explain. 